Hello and welcome back to another session of Divinity Original Sins 2 Definitive Edition. We're playing Honor Mode Plus, which is a more difficult uh, version of Honor Mode with increased really hardcore enemies that are scaled up to two levels above the party, so every single fight is going to be a nightmare. Last time we have cleared uh, the entire coastline, and today we're going to look into the hidden cave here. The underground tunnels that will lead us uh, deep into uh, the um, underground dungeon beneath the actual castle. So one thing you should know about the um, underground uh, caves here, they are filled with fire slugs and the fire slugs are not to be uh, fooled around with. Uh, even on normal honor mode difficulty, they can be quite sturdy. They are dealing only magical damage, so uh, you will need a really, really solid um, magical resistance. Uh, but I will show you a way that at least I found pretty easy to deal with the royal slug, which is the kingpin the number one slug here. As soon as you are putting any form of water on top of them, they consider that an aggression. So we are only going to uh, fight this one slug for now, which is going to be relatively easy compared to what we're going to see um, soon. There we go. The problem with the fire slugs is specifically with our fire mage, Saigon is not going to be able to do much against uh, them. Almost all of the things that he can do will set them on fire. So it's a bit of an issue and as soon as they are burning they are regenerating health and you don't want them to regenerate health. Gosh, they are hitting for 30. That is a lot. Normal slugs, by the way, unless you have uh, leveled up enemies like I do, also don't start with 200 hit points plus 100 armor. That is rather specific to the way that this particular run uh, goes. Normally, they should be leveled two-ish, so you should not have that much of a problem. Anyway. We're going to take a position uh, which will help us to relatively easily beat uh, the Royal Slug. And in the fight with the Royal Slug, I think the by far most important part is getting her down as soon as possible. She has some nasty abilities. As soon, by the way, as you take any of those critters here, you're going to deal with her as well. So might as well start out with attacking her directly. Ah, that shouldn't have happened. Okay, so that is definitely a bummer. We're immediately going to pull back. The idea was they should have, by the way, all climbed up here. No clue why they, uh, why Saiken hasn't done it. But yeah, now it's too late. So the fire slug will not leave you alone. Unless, of course, that I teleport Saiken out. 
was probably the right way to deal with it. That also broke the dialogue because we want to take positions up here. Standing in blood, essentially making his Mosquito Swarm a little bit cheaper and also giving um, Sibyl the option to uh, to deal a maximum amount of damage. Let's see, since we can't use the fire skills here, and since we still have necromancy abilities, at least some of them, I am considering to respec just a tiny bit, because all of the fire skills are like completely useless. So that should be okay. Yeah, I think that we're going to be fine. Okay, sorry for that delay, but I am rather prepared than sorry. So as soon as the dialogue starts, there we go. Did Bracus send you? As soon as the dialogue starts, we should follow up with buffing Ethan here. He will need it. Silence. You he put up the slugs. You seem in an awful hurry to leave. An awful if you're truly rock hell there we go good let's start summoning some frontline so Ethan currently is the only one right there which means we're going to support him with an incarnate Keeping uh, Losa behind the front line here will keep her out of combat, at least for now. Going to need her to buff up because we're fighting against five enemies here. And these slug, uh, slugs have, um, have uh, been substantially buffed. Let's see what the um, Royal Fire Slug gets. A water immunity aura, that's bad. And hovering which means she's, she cannot be affected by slow. Torturer is not so much of a problem. I don't know what Chicken Overlord is, to be honest. Okay. Well, this one here is going to be an issue as well. He has evasion, so got to be careful with that. Anyways, uh, we're now going to start... Getting, uh, getting ready here. Let's haste up Seville, plus give her... Um, give her the elemental arrows. And we're going to get her into combat. Don't have any corpses here yet. But we're eventually going to get some. Um... As for his start, I am wondering, we might want to consider slowing down this guy down here. There we go. Okay, so Lowe's job is now to buff up both of them. And Ethan needs to deal with a slug.
unfortunately he can't fully control it this turn so hmm that's an issue So we don't want to be caught right next to it, which would be probably a suicide. Instead, we're moving out. And since I know for how much she's going to hit, I'm even drinking a magical potion on top. Iba now has 90 armor. A 90 magical armor which is even more than his uh, maximum hit points so that's how hard she's going to hit Alright, well, we finally got the Royal uh, Slug. Might as well start to slow it down. Oh, the slow is blocked by magical, um, uh, by the magical armor. Uh, that is unfortunate, but it's okay. Saigon is going to deal uh, with the guys down here. First things first, we're helping with the Royal Slug, starting to let it bleed. Secondly, we're going to deal as much damage down here as possible. Okay, so let's think that through. Probably would want to disable the uh, the slug here with uh, chicken claw. That way, the royal fire slug is probably going to be dead. Yeah, let's go for that. And let's haste ourselves so we can move faster and can deal with the other slugs. Moving to here, hitting everyone. And we might as well start letting Ivan here regenerate. I think that uh, the summoning will die pretty soon. Oh, that is Chicken Overlord. What's this? Explosive Chickens? Chicken Medic? Okay, I have absolutely no idea what that is. Chicken infantry. Okay. Good. At least we could kill one of them. The chicken medic is still alive. Mm. We're continuing with the Royal Slug. Should have probably used it beforehand where we need blood arrows for additional damage and yeah that almost killed it.
So apparently none of the chickens were hit with that. Pretty unfortunate. Let's continue to take away their magical ability there, uh, their magical armor. I think when the chickens are clustering up, oh shit, it's really a medic. Wow, and it's starting to heal the royal fire slug. That's definitely not what I want uh, wanted to have happen. Um, so this knocks down most of them. None of these guys has zero magical armor yeah we need to continue killing the fire slug it's it's almost down okay this is going to be a problem if they attack the royal fire slug they deal fire damage and that is healing the slug can't let that happen Luckily, we killed it. Now... We gotta deal with the rest here. Poison Arrow will deal magical damage. But it will also heal them a tiny bit. Ivan definitely needs help now. Ivan definitely needs help now. So what we're going to do is we will need to summon potential other target. And slow both of them down. Yeah, Saiken doesn't have any means of healing his armor. I'm a bit concerned that Iban might die. Alright, we're going to keep the bloated corpse mainly because I want to make sure that there is a different target. Yep, took the bait and that saved us a lot of trouble. Iban can heal himself. There we go. Plus we need to get out of here. Before we do so though, let's chloroform this fire slug over here. Ah shit, it had it had reawoken the fire slug. But that's okay for now. Gosh, they hit hard. Good. This here should finally kill the medic. Nope. Didn't. There we go. Executioner.
Okay, first things first. Got to take away the physical armor here. All right, we don't have much to keep them away. But we are a little bit faster than they are. That's going to be our advantage. So this fire slug has lost its physical armor. Can't really shoot through the stone, unfortunately. And can't reach Ivan either. Okay, so might as well move over here. There we go. Okay, hmm, we need to heal Ibon. I do have an idea how we could go about that. Number one, summoning. Number two, armor. Number three, health. Number four, more health. There we go. They are pretty fast. We're buffing up the Incarnate. I want it to be a valid other target besides Ifan. This guy here has no physical armor, so we're knocking him down. Perfect. That is actually helping us. Might not uh, look like it, but the repositioning here is working quite well. So let's get rid of his physical armor. Very good. Good. So now that 
the sky has repositioned itself, uh, we might want to find a new home for it. And I would pretty much say over here looks tempting. There we go. Good, we're going to deal with him just a tiny bit later. Good, so that's a knockdown. Additional backstep damage. I think we can probably kill the other one soon. But might as well want to heal ourselves. Okay. All right, the last one is out of physical armor. That's good. Very nice, that worked out well. And let's make sure that the slug is never getting any turns. There we go. One more to go. Or oh, two more to go, actually. Wow, they hit for 50. That's pretty intense. Let's put him to sleep. And this guy here is going to become a chicken. Little repositioning here. Okay. Good, so, well, by the way, almost done with this guy over here. No, 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 don't, don't, don't move him. Okay, that was a stupid misclick.
Good. The fire uh, slug is almost down. There we go. Finally. You should have definitely less problems um, as most of the slugs are relatively low level. However, with beating all of them on a high level, we might get some good loot. The Royal Fire Slug. Oh my gosh, that's a nice bow. And it has additional damage on top of it, so you can further poison a weapon that has non-poison damage. So this bow is now dealing 19 to 20 damage plus two additional damage uh, slots and sets poisoned or slowed. That's a pretty, pretty, pretty decent bow. Seville, there's a decent chance that Seville currently is our main damage dealer. Good. Once you've done all of uh, this here, don't forget to loot. And move on. Right after this cave, we're going to see the next area which is uh, kind of the dungeon. There's another... Oh shit, he has neither of those skills. Okay. Anyways. Um, there is going to be the Houndmaster, another uh, tough battle. If you can't open the doors, uh, my recommendation is simply use the imbalanced ranged weapon that you've just found and make sure pro uh, progress out of it. There's some loot here, and more importantly, let me show you one more thing. Good. Let me show you one more thing behind this door here. Once you've cracked it, there's another waypoint. With the waypoint, there's a lot of XP that you can get, and you can essentially get in and out of here um, in no time. So highly recommend you take that before going to the Houndmaster. We're almost uh, at the next level. So here's the waypoint with additional loot, and here is the experience I was talking about. Giving us yet another level. Just found this knife, which is, I think, almost as good as the dagger that we're currently having. Good. Let's level up the characters real quick, and then we're going to end this um, episode. Ebon requires some more finesse, so we're going all the way up to 20. Since we're now getting the additional skills, we're also moving up to Scoundrel 2. Still waiting to get an additional civil ability. As for his uh, loadout, I think we're absolutely fine. There are a couple of movement skills which might help him, but overall we're okay. Lose uh, has sufficient uh, skills, but we could use a little bit more memory, so we're going up in memory and intelligence. She has Hydro and Summoning, 
Geomancy 2 would help her for additional uh, abilities. The other option is to go uh, Aero Thurk um, and uh, use the buffs in an Aero Thurk. I think we're going to go down that route um, for various reasons, uh, mainly because I already learned Uncanny Evasion uh, with her. Uh, so once we get a new, another level in Aerotherk, <clears throat> that should really uh, come in handy. And we're going to use uh, the extra skill for Fortify. Seville, really straightforward. We're continuing with Finesse. She has enough Huntsman. We don't need to skill uh, Pyro. Um, we're continuing with Warfare. There is an option to go for a level or two in Scoundrel to give her even further um, burst potential with Adrenaline. Uh, we don't need to do that um, right away, but I think we could actually do it. You know what? Rather earlier than later, so one or two points in Scoundrel to get the skills aren't, uh, isn't bad at all. Um, as for her skills, we're keeping exactly what she currently has. Saiken has a few too little memory slots here, specifically for his fire skills. So we're going with one more memory and, of course, going for an intelligence increase. Um, he has Geomancy and Pyromancy uh, well leveled up. We're now going with Hydro and Aero will be um, the uh, his next skill there. So in terms of additional skills that he could use, I think going for the other uh, fire-based skills. Now that we've passed the slugs, uh, would absolutely make sense. So that's a pretty strong loadout, uh, which he currently has. So yeah, that is level 5. The party is absolutely ready to take on the Houndmaster, but it's not going to be an easy fight. However, that's going to happen in the next uh, episode. Thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure as always. If you enjoyed the content, consider hitting the like button and leave a comment down below. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.